This video covers searching for Sophia data on moving objects. If you're a solar system object observer, you know that Sophia has a lot of observations of solar system targets. The best way to do it is to search on solar system target here and then put in the NAIF ID or the name. It is a little finicky though about exactly what it expects as input. So if I use the example NAIF ID here, initially it says it doesn't work, but you have to pick from the pull down, even though that's the right NAIF ID. So as a rule of thumb, whatever you put in, you need to look at the pull down options that it gives you and pick the one that you mean. Now having told it that I want observations of Europa, I can either fill out all of the other constraints or just leave them all as the defaults. Search. Now it's come back with the same sort of interface that the inertial target searches yield. There's a tab with an AOR list that has the most succinct view of all of the observations that it found. And it also has instrument tabs. It says here that there's data from XCs and forecast. So XCs, data. There's one of the spectra taken by XCs of Europa. The other data were all from forecast. So if I go to forecast, again, I see the spectrum that it took of Europa. If the data are not proprietary, which none of these seem to be, to download it, you select it on the left and then prepare download. Then you can save it to disk. If you want to download lots of data at once, you can click the checkbox at the top of the column. Another way to search is the pre-recovery search, where you can put in either a known object, just like for a solar system target, or the orbital elements in either one line format or individually. In this case, the pre-recovery search, the whole idea is to look for serendipitous observations of your new object or an object uh, that is already known. So it will recover observations that were deliberately tar targeting that object, but also observations that serendipitously caught it. It can take a long time to search, um, but when it comes back, it will give you the same sort of interface that you get with any other Sophia search results. 